Hi guys, this is Lauren from TED Robotics. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily set up an automatic control test using the FlightStand software. For this test, I'm going to be using version 1.7.2 of the software and a simulated board, and I've already gone to the manual control tab to activate my ESC. So now I'm here on the automatic control tab, and I can select the ESC that I want to use. I just have one today. And then there's a couple ways we can program an automatic test. So one way is to upload a sequence of throttle points from a CSV file. We could load the demo example, but today I'm going to use the table to program an automated test. So what we do is we put in timestamps first for all the time points we'd like to cover. And then we fill in the values. So let's start at, say, 1100, then we'll go to... 1400 and so on. And now we can go to our sequence preview, which shows us the throttle pattern during the test with the time on the x axis. Here we can toggle on or off continuous recording. I'm going to turn that on for this test, and I will name the test as well. And then we can decide how many loops we want to do. So for this test, I'll just do three. And then we can go ahead and click Execute Sequence. And it'll show where throughout the test the powertrain currently is. And then we can also watch the data coming in on our real-time plots. And then over here, we can go ahead and save our data. And then to view our data, we go to the Test tab. And then we can look at Plots. We'll hide this guy. And there we go. So that's how to run an automatic control test using the FlightStand software. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know in the comments or send us an email. Thanks for watching.